Hello and welcome back to this Global Health YouTube channel. My name is Greg Martin. In the next few minutes, we're going to take a short overview of the Global Fund and their new funding model. If this is your first time here, then briefly, this YouTube channel has teaching videos on subjects like how to find work in the global health space, epidemiology and study design, ethics and human rights, and global health facts. I'm soon going to add new content on health economics, demography, international law, new technologies for global health, and a whole range of other exciting things. So subscribe if you haven't, stay tuned, and let's get stuck in. So briefly, the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, TB, and Malaria was started in 2002. It's currently providing about 82% of international funding for TB, 50% for malaria, and 21% for HIV. It also funds health system strengthening. Now, the new funding model changes the way in which countries apply for funding. In the past, the time between an application and a grant being signed off was about two years. With the new process, it's expected to take about 11 months. An important starting point is that in this new model, at the beginning of each three-year funding allocation period, each country will know how much money they'll be able to apply for and receive. The amount that will be allocated to a country will be a function of the country need and the available resources, amongst other factors. Extra money over and above the allocation will be designated for high impact interventions and these will be awarded on a case by case basis. So the starting point in the funding application process is something that the Global Fund is called a country dialogue. This is really just a formalized stakeholder engagement process. It's going to include technical experts, representatives of people affected by the three diseases, government leaders, civil society, and other interested parties. Usually, the participants of this country dialogue will come together and represent what's called a country coordinating mechanism, or CCM. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what they do in a second. So following this process called the country dialogue, this body called the CCM will develop a document that's going to be called the National Strategic Plan, which is really the country's plan to address HIV, TB and malaria. So based on the country dialogue and the national strategic plan, the CCM will develop and submit a concept note. And this will be reviewed by an independent technical review panel and the Global Funds Grant Approvals Committee. If the interventions and the funding are approved by these two bodies, then the process of discussion and negotiation as to how the program will actually work will take place. This stage is called grant making, and this happens before the Global Fund Board sign off on the final grant. Once the board have signed off on the grant, money will be made available for implementation. I hope that this has been useful for country programs or those of you that will be providing technical assistance or our stakeholders that will be helping put together applications. Remember that you can make comments below and remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. There's a number of other videos that we've put together that deal with fundraising in the global health space so take a look at those. There'll be more to come here so stay tuned.